me your assessment of, uh, of, of the three games. You only played in one, but uh, what did you make of this team that you've joined? Yeah, I mean, it's we've done a lot of progress, and that's part of, uh, of the process for exhibitions, and every game we got better. Um, I was able to look at you know uh, some of the guys that I've not, I'd never met before on our team for the first two games. So it seems that we got like very uh, a lot of guys have very good chemistry. So uh, we're pretty happy about the three games, the special teams, and the goaltending, and uh, our systems. And now we got an extra week to, to prepare for Saturday. Is it unusual for a team to to get that chemistry so quickly? It's only two weeks in, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, we do have an older team, so it's easy. You guys are mature, very professional. So I mean, we've been uh, all sorts of around the world, so uh, different leagues, different mentality, different systems. So I think uh, it's easy to mesh. And uh, obviously, you can see within the first three games here, within two weeks. Now the club said you had a, a toe injury, which is why you missed the first two. How are you? How are you doing with that? So, you, so you're limping early. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I have a hard time walking, but on the ice, it's better. So that's all that matters. Right. So last year, you played in the KHL and Kazakhstan. How did that go as a season for you? Last season, I mean, it was up and down. Uh, you know, the fifth year in KHL, but. Um, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, obviously, have a good season this year, and you know, hopefully, win a championship here. But I definitely love my time in Kazakhstan and in China for, uh, last season, and um, you know, hopefully, get better every year. Are you an ambitious man? You're 36, aren't you? But presumably, you see another couple of seasons, whether it's here or elsewhere. I mean, I mean, I want to, I want to perform and, and and play well, and obviously help the younger guys. I think my role in the team is a little bit different than 10 years ago. So like you said, I'm 36 and hopefully I can pass on my experience and, and my knowledge that I've learned from uh, different leagues all around the world. And um, put, uh, you know, with Foxy as a head coach that I had him five years ago in, in Zagreb and put all a, a good uh, good game plan and everybody buys in and we'll have a winning team. I was going to ask you actually about Aaron Fox because he's still new to us in Sheffield so you'll know much more about him than we do. What is he actually like to play for and work for in the week? Yeah, he just demands hard work. I mean, just honest players and, um, you know, not to cut corners and, um, you know, the, we can have fun off the ice and far in the locker room. We have great guys, um, you know, so guys love to joke around and stuff like that. But when we get on the ice, it's time to work and... Um, you know, whether it's practice, it's an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, you know, we work hard, and um, you know, we got to lead that effort into uh, into games. And like I said, it's paid off the first three games. So, so he's come here, you come here. The elite league does seem to have a better reputation now. Would it be fair to say that five years ago you wouldn't have considered coming to England? I mean, that's five years ago. I wasn't. My mind was trying to play uh, elsewhere. I mean, I have. Buddies that played in this league a long time ago, and I've heard good things. But obviously, it's good for the league that it's getting better and better, you know, on and off the ice every year. Nottingham Panthers on Saturday. Um, do you know anything about their team, their players, and the rivalry? Zero. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Nobody. No. Okay. Best of luck. Cheers. Yeah.